afternoon, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, and all of Central Alabama. This is the CBS 42 News at Noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alex Finney and for Jamie Langley. The region's tradition tees off today with the Celebrity Pro-Am at Greystone and it looks like the players may be dodging the rain throughout the day. Let's head right now live to Greystone where Storm Track meteorologist Ashley Gann is standing by. Ashley, how are things going out there? Today has turned out to be a great day here at Greystone. Sure, it's a little overcast, slightly on the muggy side, but the rain has really held off and the fans are loving it out here today. Let me go ahead and break it down for you very quickly, hour by hour. Let's march through the day. Temperatures should be in the 70s, but with those dew points as warm as they are, it is going to be very muggy out there. And I expect us to see a generally cloudy sky for the remainder of the afternoon. As far as rain goes, that's the big question. It looks like there's a few scattered showers in and around central. Alabama, most of the wet weather north of Birmingham, and just a few isolated showers towards Tuscaloosa and Point South. So we're continuing to watch these. These are going to be very widely spaced. I expect for those showers to just pop up every once in a while. And if a rain shower passes over Greystone, it's going to be very short lived today. A live look at the skies where we are seeing clouds in the Birmingham area right now. Temperatures are definitely staying on the warmer side. So the clouds, not necessarily a bad thing. It helps to keep us out of the 80s for sure. But coming up, I'll let you know when we could actually see some more rain return to the forecast. It does look like we will be seeing more as we round out the week. I'll break down the timing of that wet weather. And that's coming up in your Storm Track seven day forecast. Alex? All right, thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Well, the biggest day of the region's tradition is underway right now. The Celebrity Pro-Am began just before 8 a.m. And one of the biggest names, of course, everyone wants to see teeing off, Alabama head coach Nick Saban. CBS 42 Sports Director Chris Beach joins us live from the green right now. Hey, Chris. Yeah, you know, Alex, Nick Saban thought he could come to the course, have a nice quiet round with his pro, Rocco Mediate at 9 a.m. tea time, but the question quickly went to Cam Robinson and that stolen gun that was found in his car in Louisiana on Tuesday morning. And Saban said he has talked with Robinson and Hootie Jones about what happened. He said he's going to wait till he gets all the facts before he actually makes an opinion and a judgment on this and jumps to any conclusions. Of course, we had to ask what about suspensions, any kind of discipline they could face. He said we should know the drill by now that they are not going to make any of this public. They'll do it all internally. And we're not going to do it today. So, you know, if, we're, if we can change their behavior based on what we do, that would be the purpose of discipline. Discipline is not necessarily just punishment, uh, which a lot of people view it that way. Uh, it's how do you change somebody's behavior so they have a better chance to be successful. Nick Saban on number 11 right now. He's not the only big name playing in the Pro-Am. You got Hugh Freeze, Gus Melzahn, Kirby Smart, Dan Mullen, Steve Spurrier, and a guy named John Daly actually did show up today. We'll talk all about that coming up at 5 and 6 o'clock. Alex. All right, thank you, Chris. Well, if you're heading to Greystone today for the region's tradition, real-time traffic anchor Rachel Lundberg has all the information on where you can park. Monitoring your lunch hour commute and your drive home from work. If you're headed to Greystone for the region's tradition today, throughout the rest of the week or the weekend, let me make note of a parking lot available for you at Church of Brook Hills. This is on the corner of Highway 119 and Brook Highland Parkway. And there are also shuttles that will run you from that parking lot to the course starting at 7 a.m. each day. And the last shuttle will run one hour after tournament play ends. The ride will just be a few minutes to the course, but do expect delays if you're not going or if you are going along Highway 119 and 280 throughout the rest of the week and the weekend, monitoring your commute with your real-time traffic. Thank you, Rachel. Well, be sure to stay with CBS 42 as we follow this year's region's tradition. Now, we've got live reports in all of our newscasts this week. Also, join us, CBS 42, tonight from 6.30 to 7 for our half-hour special, The Tradition at Greystone. We'll then have another special Thursday at 10 p.m. Developing at noon, police in Anniston are investigating a triple shooting that left one person dead. Now, it happened just after 9 o'clock last night at a home on Christine Avenue. The Calhoun County coroner says 18-year-old Monquavius Hunter died from his injuries. Two other men were shot. They were taken to area hospitals. Right now, police say no arrests have been made. 
And in Birmingham, police have not identified a suspect involved in an overnight shooting. Police say one man was shot near the Ingle Nook Library. He ended up at the Texaco on Pinson Valley Parkway. 911 was called and the man was taken to the hospital. There's no word on his condition. Pell City Police are investigating a reported threat directed towards the city's high school. A potential threat to shoot students at Pell City High was recently discovered in a bathroom stall at a Winn-Dixie. It said that a shooting would happen at the school on May 20th. It was reported to the school's principal and police. Now, we spoke with Pell City Police Chief Greg Turley. He tells us that while they don't believe the threat is credible, they're still investigating it. New at noon, Pell City Police have tracked down the person they believed robbed a bank last week. Police arrested 61-year-old Michael Lee Daniel, who you see right there, around 1 o'clock this morning. He's being held in the St. Clair County Jail on $100,000 bond. The robbery, it happened last Friday at the Cropwell branch of Union State Bank. The suspect and his getaway vehicle were captured on surveillance. Jury selection over in the Mike Hubbard ethics trial. 12 jurors were seated this morning. The process began Monday with close to 100 potential jurors. Hubbard is facing several felony charges accusing him of using his office for personal benefit. Opening statements are expected to begin May 24th. Well, more than 4 million U.S. workers will become newly eligible for overtime pay under rules to be issued today by the Obama administration. Now, overtime protections go back to the 1930s, but have gone away in some industries, including fast food and retail. The action is expected to boost wages for workers by $12 billion over the next decade. A primary standoff today between Democratic presidential candidates Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. Sanders won in Oregon, while Clinton is saying she won Kentucky, but the margin there is razor thin. Sanders didn't gain much delegate-wise, and Clinton needs fewer than 100 to clinch the nomination. The celebrities tee off today in the region's tradition pro-am, and after the break, we'll head back out to Greystone for another update from the Green. We have that for you coming up in just a few minutes. You're watching the CBS 42 News at noon. We'll be right back.
Right now, we are following breaking news of a fire at an apartment complex in Birmingham. And now, this is video that you're seeing right here, just into our newsroom from the 300 block of 3rd Avenue Southwest. It broke out just after 11 this morning. It took about 30 minutes to get it under control. Crews are starting to wrap things up right now. So far, we are not hearing of any injuries. Well, some well-known faces showed up at the 25th Annual Regions Tradition. Today is the Celebrity Pro-Am, and CBS 42 News reporter Michael Oder is live at Greystone. Michael, you had a chance to chat with some of those celebrities, am I right? Yeah, it was kind of a green carpet this morning here at Greystone Golf and Country Club. And as those celebrities came in, they had a chance to warm up, hit a few balls, and also talk with those of us in the media. Now, celebrities are paired up today with professional golfers, which always proves to be an interesting time here. Most of the names you'll recognize, pretty athletic on their end. All, most of the head coaches from the SEC, Nick Saban, Gus Malzahn, Kirby Smart, Hugh Freeze was at, were out here today. Alabama head men's basketball coach Avery Johnson getting out as a part of the action as well. But I'd have to say the biggest personality today was Steve Harvey. The comedian said that his uh, comedy is a little bit better than his swing. I took the mishap and turned, you know, I did what I was raised to do. I told the truth. And so I, I ain't really mad about that. This guy just had me sign a Miss Universe picture with the card turned around and everything. Yeah, and he also talked about that Miss Universe uh, mishap as well. Taylor Hicks uh, from American Idol fame also teeing off this morning here as part of the celebrities. And it has been pretty much a jam-packed day out here at Greystone. It has uh, been very interesting. The weather's cooperating so far now, but uh, these celebrities are starting to clear off the first nine, heading to the back nine here, and sports is going to have a complete wrap-up. Head over to WIT.com to check out our photo gallery from this morning. Live at Greystone, Michael Oder, CBS 42 News. Definitely looks like a lot of fun. Well, if you're a fan of Avatar, then you'll love this contest we have here at CBS 42. The people behind the hit movie have teamed up with Cirque du Soleil for a brand new theatrical experience. It's called To Rook First Flight. The show is touring the country right now and will visit the BJCC in August. And of course, we want you to enter to win a pair of tickets before they go on sale. It's easy to enter. Just go to our website, WIAT.com, and look for the Cirque du Soleil ticket giveaway away under the only on WIAT.com link. Well, we have much more ahead after the break. The region's tradition celebrity pro-am is well underway and we're going to head back out to Greystone. Ashley. Well, it may be all green here at Greystone, but will the sky stay all gray for the rest of the day? And what about upcoming rain chances later this week? I'll break it all down for you. Stay tuned. It's coming up in just a minute in your storm track seven day forecast. This is her thing. This is what she does. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Oh, yeah. Uh huh.
total of 230, okay. And just send it, toss it back to Alex, is that what I'm doing? Um, what's the donuts? I don't even remember what he said. You're watching the CBS 42 News at Noon. Well, it's been a windy couple of days in New England, but nothing compared to the scene on Mount Washington Monday. Look at this. The observatory shared a video of a weather researcher struggling to stand upright as gusts reached a peak of 109 miles per hour. Mount Washington still holds the record for the strongest wind gust ever observed by a human at 231 miles per hour. Pretty windy there. Well, definitely, it's not as bad down here, but the rain could put a hamper in your golf game. Storm Trek meteorologist Ashley Gann joins us now from Greystone. Hey, Ashley. Hey there, Alex. It's actually turned into a very nice day, even a light breeze, which is helping that humidity just a bit. Gray sky today, but sometimes the clouds actually help to keep things a little on the cooler side. Let's take a live look outside. This is our storm track tower cam overlooking the Magic City right now and breaking down your day here for the region's tradition out at Greystone. Temperatures right now mid 70s. I expect lower 80s right around that three o'clock hour and we'll kind of hold right around that 80 degree mark clouds today. I'm not going to allow for a big warm up, but I expect for us to see a relatively dry Dry afternoon. I know that's what everyone is hoping for if you are making plans to get out here to Greystone later today. Temperatures across the board primarily in the 70s, some upper 70s up towards Gadsden right now. Those upper 60s in Coleman as well as Hamilton, that's because of the cloud cover. It's a little bit more thick up in North Alabama at this hour. Here's the setup. Stalled boundary is putting its way along Alabama right now, and it's really not going to provide us widespread rain coverage today. An isolated shower or two. Really the same story for our Thursday. Let me break it down for you in your future cast. It shows that we could see, again, one or two showers hit and miss at times through the afternoon. As we roll through late afternoon in the early evening, temperatures will be dipping into the 70s, and as we head to the overnight hours, actually, some clear pockets of sky could give way to temperatures in the upper 50s by tomorrow morning. I expect a dry start to our Thursday. Not a whole lot of rain activity early on in the day, but there could be some lighter showers later in the afternoon and into our Friday. Friday is going to be the big day for rain. That's why we have a weather aware issued heavy rainfall, but no severe weather at this time. That rain should move out before Saturday. So even if some of the golf games are delayed on Friday, it looks like they could get in those additional rounds if need be early on Saturday. And then good news is it looks like a hole in one forecast for our Sunday. Plenty of sunshine. Temperatures are going to be warming back into the lower 80s. And that is a look at your storm track seven day forecast. And earlier today, I had a unique opportunity to speak with someone very special here at the golf course. He is the executive chef, and he gave me one of the secrets to keeping the pros happy and healthy. Here's what he has to say uh, They want to lay off the donuts, so they don't want to see donuts because lead us not to temptation. Uh -huh. And uh, they, they love, they absolutely love. Um, things like omelets, egg white omelets. I was hoping they were, he was going to give me some secret, like they like yellow M&Ms or something like that, but they definitely like to eat heart healthy, so that's good news. And I tell you what, the weather today is shaping up nicely. If you want more information on how you can still enjoy the rest of the day, go to uh, regionstradition.com for more information or follow us on our website at WIAT.com. Yeah. Alex? Love that, Ashley. Well, more news after the break, and we're actually live from Greystone for the Regions Tradition Celebrity Pro-Am. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Well, I did.
Welcome back. With higher passenger numbers and fewer TSA agents, long lines, and missed flights have plagued travelers across the country in the last week. And right now, the TSA is beefing up security teams at one of the nation's most important air traffic hubs. The TSA is sending five K-9 teams, adding more than 100 full-time agents, and also increasing overtime at Chicago, Chicago's packed O'Hare Airport. The move comes after passengers across the country deal with seemingly never-ending lines, hundreds of missed flights, and dozens left sleeping inside their terminals. We're going to surge new screeners uh, into the airports there to deal with the backup and the crowds. We're going to deal as well with the need for more bomb-sniffing dogs. The TSA says the best way to move through any airport faster, well, you got to sign up for the agency's pre-check or expedited screening. That will cost you $85 to register. Yellowstone National Park is defending its decision to euthanize a baby bison. Last week, tourists strapped the calf in the back of their vehicle, you see it right there, then took it to the ranger's office. They told rangers it looked cold and abandoned. Park officials say the action caused the animal to become a danger to other visitors. When they tried to reintroduce it to the wild, well, they say the bison herd wouldn't take it back, and it began to approach people and cars and eventually became a traffic hazard. Well, Ashley is back with a final check on the forecast right after the break. You're watching the CBS 42 News at noon. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. You're watching the CBS 42 News at Noon.
Well, here's a quick recap of your weather live from Greystone today. Bit of a cloudy sky, but every once in a while I look up and there's a peak of sunshine. Temperatures today warming into the upper 70s, right around 80 degrees. Looks like today remains relatively dry, maybe a spotty shower or two, but the best rain chances this week arrive on Friday. Then the sun shines back just in time for your weekend. Alex? All right. Well, thank you, Ashley. That's all the time we have right now on air. Our coverage continues actually on air and also online. Be sure to join us back here. CBS 42 News at 5. We'll see you then. Take care.